where we go. Right. So I want you to set the intention that everything that you are going to do today and everything that you are going to listen to and absorb today and what the exercise we're going to do together today, you're going to have this word elevate in mind. So as you're doing things, I want you to think about what I'm doing right now, how is it going to elevate me? How is it going to elevate my customer? How is it going to elevate my staff? How is it going to elevate my colleagues? How is it going to elevate my business, my products? So just everything that you do, I want you to keep that word elevate in the back of your mind or the front of your mind as we are going through the work today. Okay. All right. So in order for this to, to work properly, you seriously need to free yourself. And you, we don't need that long. We're going to need 30 minutes for the, for the section where I don't want any interruptions. So put your phones on silent. Um, everybody uh, have your papers, have your um, markers and whatever it is that you need in front of you. And try and keep your focus, not try, keep your focus and don't get distracted. Okay, let's get ourselves seriously into this into this moment and into this exercise that we're about to do. Got it? All good? All agree? Okay, so now, um, and I also want to say at this time, congratulations and well done to all of you that are attending the session and especially to those of you, because I saw as you some of you joined, you've got your team sitting there with you. Well done, okay? Because you've obviously identified certain things that would make this session very valuable for you and your team. Now, we're going to do this together today. I'm hoping that if some of you couldn't get your team here with you, you will get them to attend or you will do this session with them. So I want to give you a little bit of background before we dive into it of what are the symptoms that happen in the business that indicate that you need a Mawa session with your team. Okay, so what I'm about to do with you, we're first going to look at symptoms. I want you to see if any of these are resonating in your business. Okay, everybody, please feel free to go into the chat box. The whole idea about this is to share information. It is a safe space. We all are here to learn and grow together. So it doesn't matter if you've got 10 of these symptoms. So what? That's the whole purpose of being here today is so that we can help you and help each other get past whatever it is that you're going through. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look at what symptoms. So are you experiencing frequent absenteeism in your business? So do people often not pitch up? Okay, you can, you'll, you'll know what the answers to these are. Secondly, staff don't retail or upsell. And I want to add another word on there, consistently. So if it's they retail and they upsell and they rebook, every now and again, okay, but it's not something that is consistent, that happens automatically with every single client that comes through that door. Okay, some other symptoms that are, that need to be watched out for. Staff passion and fire is not burning. They are just being and doing. So do you see when you walk into your business, a staff force that is on fire, you can feel the energy and you can just feel that motivation or is your team just being and doing? So they come, they go to work, they do good treatments, they go home, they come back to work. Okay. Do you have that? The other um, symptom is decreased productivity. So if your productivity and when we say productivity, I don't mean how busy the column is. I mean, how productively is everybody in the business using their time? So if a therapist has an hour open, what I mean by decreased productivity is, does she phone clients? Does she go and interact with other clients in the business? Does she go and try and do role plays of sales with another therapist? Or does she go and sit 
on her phone, on TikTok, in the in the um, staff room or in a corner, or does she go outside for a walk? So that's what I mean by decreased productivity is what is everybody being super productive? Okay, next time, next one is poor team cohesion. In other words, there might be little cliques formed in the business. Is there little groupies formed? Also, is everybody working towards the same common goal and trying to help each other? Or are they trying to steal appointments, clients from each other, retail sales from each other? So what kind of vibe is there at the moment? If you're having communication breakdowns, this is an important one. In other words, misunderstandings all the time where people don't communicate, the other one misunderstands, and then it leads to a bit of an argument or a challenge. That is a, a, a very good time to pull your team into a mawa. The business growth has plateaued or declined. So do you find that the business is now stagnating for a little bit? Um, either, either it's stagnating for a while or it's stagnated and now it seems to be slowly, very slowly going on a little bit of a dive. Is the morale low? Is there a little bit of negativity? Are there staff cliques, little groups that have formed in the business or is everybody together? Okay, so there you have your symptoms, everybody. I've given you a couple of symptoms that you can look out for that tells you, hold on a second, I need to do something more than just tell everybody what the target is. I need to do more than that. So we call this out of alignment. Okay, so the bottom line is a business where that has those symptoms that I told you about. So when those symptoms creep up into the business, you'll find that the alignment is, is not perfect, okay? So some are up, some are down, and the business's, the business's needs is the one that's in the middle, okay? What we want to do by doing this type of session is align everybody with the business and together with each other okay so that's what we that's why why we do these kind of exercises to bring it into alignment another great way to explain it is that everybody's holding a puzzle piece in your business an aligned business is when they put that puzzle piece together very quickly everything just fits or a non-aligned business is when it takes very long to build the puzzle. Okay, the business is not aligned. That's another way to be able to describe it to you. So those, everyone, are your symptoms and what it is that a My Why session is going to do for you. All right, everybody, get your pages ready, please. At the top of the page where you see the line, okay, there's a line here. I want you to put your name on that line. So everybody, wherever you are, wherever you are. Okay, we've muted. Good stuff. All right. So you put your name at the top here, correct? Good stuff. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to think about three items that you want or that you need, okay? Only three. So here comes the, the trick here. It's got to be something that you need in the next short term. Short term means 30 days to 90 days. So in the next three months, these three items or things are very important to you. That's number one. I'll tell you in a second what you're going to do in a minute. You're not writing it, hey? You're not writing anything yet. Number two, it cannot be the word or, or it cannot be something. I'm going to give you an example. It can't be money, okay? Because what does that mean? Do you want US dollars? How, how many do you need? Do you need 100? Do you need 200? Do you want 5,000 rand? So if it's money that you need, you need 
and I'll tell you how, how we're going to do this in a second. You're going to physically have an amount and in a, and in a, a currency. So if you need 5,000 pounds, well, then that's what you, and, I, and I'll show you now where you're going to put it, okay? Um, also, it cannot be, for example, you want to say, um, I want um, a car, okay? Uh, when you do this, you need to be quite specific and intentional about what is the car, how much is the car, okay? Now, you're not going to write it in those blocks. And everybody, please don't think that I'm nuts. When I get you started, I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you to do this. You are now going to start drawing your items, drawing them. So you're going to go, and I'm going to show you a picture of one that is done. Okay. So can you see here? It's drawn. A ring. Can you see? From Brown's Jewelers. Second one, a French bulldog. Okay. So can you see how everything is drawn? And gym clothes with that tops and the bottoms exactly what gym clothes I need some socks and the sneakers okay there's even a brand on it can you see there's a Nike tick on here that's pretty cool okay and then under it so I hope you've all started drawing under it in your currency so whatever your currency is that you're doing this in US dollars um, British pounds, uh, euros, wherever you are, you're going to put, so cross out the R, that is for South African rands, you're going to put pounds or whatever, and how much it is that that item costs. Okay, everybody understand? Can you all just go into the chat box and give me some feedback? Because I don't really know if you guys are following me or not. I don't see anyone. following. Okay, Devon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll leave you alone now. So it must be things that have a yes. Okay. This is not feelings. It's not, it must be things that you want material things. So you can't put here you want health. No, the, this is a material thing that you want or need. Okay. Either or, and it must have a monetary value to it. Yes. Okay. Everybody, you can if you want to write it like this lady's done it, but I need you to draw it. Okay, this is the whole reason behind this is for you to draw. Those of you who are doing this as a team, I want you to enjoy what should be happening right now in your rooms, which is a little bit of giggling, a little bit of, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm drawing, or oh dear, I don't know how to draw. Um, oh, how do I draw this? And people looking over at each other and all that kind of thing. Okay, so that should be what is happening right about now. Those of you who are on your own, you're more than welcome to unmute and maybe show me what you're drawing if you want. Totally up to you. But I'm going to give you about five minutes, five or six minutes. And I want you to try and draw as best you can. Okay. Let me see who's online so I can see who. Okay, Asha, are you all drawing? And Bianca, you and your team. Goody, goody.
Okay, so while you're drawing, can anybody think, I think I'm going to ask you a few questions instead of talking so much today, as you, as I usually do. Can anybody think of why the why draw in this exercise and not cut out pictures or not just write what's in there? Can anybody think of why it is important that you put pen to paper or pencil or crayons and you physically draw. Can anybody think of that? Because there's obviously a reason. I mean, I'm sure lots of you think your Marisa's like making us do all these strange things, but there's a reason why people draw. Makes it more realistic, manifesting, commitment. Help visualize it in your mind. Visualize and it'll help manifest. Okay. Have any, I'm going to, I mean, we, you're all going in the right direction. Yes, therapy. You're all going in the right direction. I want you to think about something. When children go to a play therapist or a psychologist, for example, have you ever wondered why in psychology they get kids to draw pictures? They just give them paper and they go, draw. So it's pretty much what we are doing today and what all of you have said in the chat box as well. Number one, we are not used to drawing. When last did you all draw, by the way? When last did any of you sit and draw a picture like you did today? Let's hear that. Go into the chat box and tell me that. Oh, you should be drawing and now I'm making you write. I'm sorry. Yes, Francisco, we know you draw all the time with your kids. When they're older, I'll ask you that question. Lucia said in the Stone Age, right? Okay. Lucia, are you drawing now? I hope you are. Hope you're drawing. Okay, so first of all, the action of drawing has a very powerful psychological effect on your brain, especially in an adult, because we don't do it all the time. So number one, it helps to open the brain's pathways. Do you remember we spoke about the RAS in people's brains? We had a session about RAS. Do I have to do three? Can only think of two. Yes, you have to do three. You have to do three. Make, make the third one for somebody else if it's not for you. Make it for somebody else. No problem. So, so a, a drawing, the act of drawing facilitates the neural pathways into a person's RAS in their brains. It helps you visualize. It helps you when you see your drawing coming to life, you can almost live it into existence, right? Karen, when we play Pictionary, everybody laughs at my drawings. At least it makes everyone laugh. Okay, so that's another thing that drawing as a team does for each other. Exactly what Karen said. Because what you're supposed to do afterwards, okay, and you, you are all going to do this alone as a team when I'm finished the session, is you are going to share your why with the rest of your team. I'm going to explain to you exactly how you're going to do this in a minute. But that leads to laughing, people looking at the pictures. So it, it opens up, releases endorphins, opens up neural pathways. It has such a powerful effect on your brain that you have no idea. So, so powerful. So Francisco says he came back from Spain and he took his kids' coloring kit with him everywhere they were. You can't believe the amount of adults that were engaged in this activity. They were more engaged than the kids. It was so powerful to see. So Francisco, I don't know if you ever remember me saying to you that we should put coloring in books in the spas. And I said this about 10 years ago, and everybody thought I was a bit nuts. 
Do you remember? Okay. So this is exactly why, and I still maintain it, that in our relaxation lounges of our spas or our waiting rooms, we should have coloring in books for adults because of how it makes people feel. The therapy, they're coming to us for massage and, you know, the for a specific kind of therapy. If we can get them to get extra therapies at the same time, imagine how much more powerful our treatments are. Yes, exactly. I have made mandala coloring in kits. Yeah, I know, they're beautiful. Okay, so there is a lot of merit in drawing. You don't have to color your pictures in here, but really, I want you all to make sure that you have drawn your pictures and that you have put a value at the bottom so tell me when you're all ready to move on from this section if you need a few more minutes to draw I don't want to rush you too much and I want your value at the bottom of your my why okay ready good Okay, good job. I think let's give everybody a few more minutes. Okay, so just to recap, your name will go at the top. Your pictures will go one, two, and three. What it is, short term, please. I don't want, um, I don't know if you want to buy a new house, but you only want to buy it next year. It doesn't belong on the one, two, three. Okay, this is in 90 days, one, two, three months, short term, something that you want to achieve pretty quickly. And then you're going to put your value of how much it costs in your currency of wherever you are living. Okay. Okay, does anybody here want to unmute and share their why? Anybody? Would you like to share your whys and with everybody else? Anybody, one or two people? I will. Go for it. Did you draw? Wow, Lucia, I'm so happy, you see. Okay, so share your whys, go for it. Tell us. Uh, my why is a family holiday cruise in the Ooh. next three months. Ooh. And um, my other one is Onyx becoming number one in Angola again in the next three months. Okay. And the other one is um, getting Nikita an apartment here in Angola. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Love it. Well done. Nice. Good, good. Good. Okay, Karen, go for it if you want to. Okay, perfect. I'm going to give you all a very good laugh. So my why, can you see the first one there? Not really. Go a little bit further back. It's blurry. Back, back. No, we can't. It's blurry, Karen. It's not letting us see it. No. Um, you know why? Seven. Because your camera is blurring your background. Camera is blurred, yes. I'm just it's changing it. It's Give me a second. No problem. I think if you unblur it, we should be able to see. See? Let's just go there. Sorry, one second. Your drawings can't be worse than mine, so. Okay, can you see now? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, oh, much clearer. Okay, so let's try and guess what those are. Okay, tell us. Okay, so the first one, sorry. It looks like wheels. The first one looks like wheels. What is it? Yes, it is. So the first one is wheels. So I need some new wheels for my Jeep and um, a nice car service. 
So that's Thank my you. first one. My <laughs> second one. <laughs> yeah. My second one is um, I need a new headboard and a nice new bed bedding and nice mm -hmm. bed set. So that was my second one. Ooh. And the third one is tiles around our pool. Um, because during during the floods, um, we had quite a lot of damage to our property and the insurance can't match up our tiles. So we need to put some money into that and get the tiles that we want. So Love those that. are my wives. Love and I'm going to work hard to get there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Anybody else want to share their wives? You don't have to. It's just if you want to share while we're waiting for everybody to finish. No more. Okay, is everybody ready? Can we move on from the from the drawing stage? Oh, who's there? Hello, Jenny Eels team. Are you sharing your wires? Who's sharing their wire? <laughs> Hi, we we missed the memo a little bit. We did long terms, oh. but they were quite interesting. <laughs> We didn't do short term, so my first one. I yes. don't know if you can see it. It's I a can't. safe house. Yeah, last okay, a house, yeah. A, a place of safety. Uh yes. the funds should be unlimited. <laughs> okay. And then the second the second one was a beautiful house and a car. Okay. And then the third one is a holiday. A holiday. And how long term is this, by the way? How long term? Uh, by this time next year, one year. Okay. Can you put, okay, so the whole purpose of this is to be short term. But since you've done it long term, what I'd like you to do so that you don't throw away that paper, I want you to yeah. put in each of your blocks a time frame for each item so okay. if the holiday is in six months if the and they can't all be 12 months from now so you've got to find something that you are willing or that you really want to achieve in the next three months something in six months something in eight months can you do that put in each block okay give yourself and it's not a deadline it's a it's a time goal that you're going to give yourself to achieving that item okay when you next do the Mawa together, I want you to do it short term, one to three months, maybe one to four months, because you should be doing these sessions every four to six months in as a team together, okay? Good job. Does anybody else want to share their Mawa? Okay, right. So I'll tell you what you're going to do later on as a, as a team together, okay? Because later on you're going to, and it's very important, when our session is finished, we, we're not going to take too much longer. You're going to sit together as a team and you're going to share your my wise with each other, okay? And the reason for that is when you verbalize something, you commit to it. You hold yourself accountable to what it is that you are verbalizing that you want, number one. Number two is your colleagues. It makes everybody work much closer together as a team when you know what the other person needs and wants in their life because you feel like you're becoming a responsible part of helping them achieve that. Okay, does that make sense? All right, now what you're going to do, can you see you have a line at the bottom of a page? Yeah, and it says uh, the line and then it says retail units. Okay, I want us all to agree on a value in the chat box of an average price of a product that the consumer buys off the shelves in your business. Okay, so in your spa, you might have things priced at 200 rand or 10 pounds, and you might have things priced at 
a thousand or two thousand rand and maybe at 200 pounds i want us to agree or for you to put what is the average that you're going to work with here today so can i get some numbers going in that chat box before you fill in anything in the bottom line i just want that average quickly Who's going to give me some averages? What number are we going to work with, everyone? Anyone going to give me a number, an average of a, of a product? Average 500, average body 300. Okay, what number do we want to work with? 400. There we go. You got it in the middle. Bianca says 600. Uh, Surietta says 350. Okay, Sh should we all agree to work on 400? Should we agree? Because that seems like the number that seems to be coming up the most. Jenny Eel's team says 500. Okay, so we're going on 400. All right. So now, you're going to take the the average cost meaning 400 the average price of a product and you are going to divide that into the value of what your item costs okay this is where you need a calculator so for example this item here is 10000 right you're now going to take out your calculator and you're going to put 10000 divided by 400, and I get 25, okay? So just watch here, 10,000, okay? 10,000 divided by 400, the average equals 25, okay? And this number 25, I'm gonna show you now on my screen, I'm gonna put it here at the bottom, 25 retail units. Okay, and then the second one, you're going to put however many it is for the second one and however many it is for the third one. Okay, so now the, the reason why we're doing that, I'll tell you what that is as well, so that you, because you need to understand why we are taking you through this process. When somebody looks at, let's say, this sheet here in front of us, and we see that number 10,000, it seems pretty overwhelming, right? It seems, you yeah, that is so much money. That really is a lot of money. That by relating it, that is all we are doing. We, it's just a, a mindset thing that we're doing here. We are relating how much it is that you of the item that you want versus what it is that you sell in your salon how mean how much or how many units of it is so when you're looking at the the, the number 10000 it's huge but if i do the exercise and i get to 25 retail units does that seem so huge anymore no doesn't seem huge anymore. Okay. Something that is 20,000 Rand is going to be 50 retail units. It's not so much. 20,000 seems a lot, but the number 50 is not that much. Okay. Everybody got that. Okay. Do you want to put some numbers in the chat box? of how many units any of your Ys have. So throw some numbers there. How many, I'm sure if you've got a house as your Y, that's a lot of units. And that's why we don't do long-term on here. Okay, so it's, I'm actually quite glad that somebody did long-term because now you can see why this sheet called my why has to be short term 
because what we're trying to do is mindset people to achieve the small goals first, short-term, smaller goals with smaller numbers. And then once you get into a mindset of that, boom, the sky's the limit. You just, the mawa short-term starts to grow. You'll see the, this works like a champion, this exercise. Your Bianca's got seven and a half units and 25. That's brilliant. Okay, so it doesn't seem big anymore, right? 12 and a half units, 25 units. That's not so much, correct? So much. Okay, can we move on to the second sheet? I'm, I'm going to come back to that one. Okay, your second piece of paper or your second slide, seven and a half, domicile, nice and achievable, Callan says. Okay, right. Next one, I want you now to, I have filled it in here, but I'm going to talk you through it. Okay, this sheet at the top of the page, I want you to write the value of my hour. The value of my hour. Okay. Piliswa, 80 units. Not bad, not bad. 80 units, one a day, you get that in two months. Not bad, two and a half months, three months. Okay, the first line says, what services do you perform? I want you to write what it is that you do. So if you're front desk, you're going to do front desk. If you do facials massage, you're going to do facials massage. If you do nails, you're going to do nails. So whatever it is that your function in the business is, if you're the manager, you're going to put manager. But if you're a working manager and you do treatments, I want you to put whatever treatments it is that you specialize in or that you do. Okay? Line number one. Is everybody with me? I'm just worried that I'm losing you. Are you all with me? Yep. Can I keep going? Great. Okay. Now, the second line is very important. I want you to pretend that you were doing a treatment for a customer um, and you worked for yourself. Okay? You worked for yourself. How much do you feel that your time, your hour, so a one hour uh, facial, a one hour massage, uh, I want to know how much value in money do you give your hour? Okay? So it can be 500 Rand, it can be a thousand Rand. I've just for the sake of this exercise used 300. So does everybody get that? Please, I do not want you to get confused with what your, wherever you work, ignore what the price on the treatment menu is. I want you to give your quality of work and your services a value. How, so if I had to ask you the question, how much is your facial worth? How much do you think your facial skills or your facial treatment is worth? I want you to put that number there. Okay, then I want you to throw out some numbers for me in the chat box. I want to hear what some of the numbers out there are. I want to know what number have you put up there? Come, share numbers, share numbers. Anybody? Numbers? Let me see. Oh, domicile, 1,100. Yep. Okay, cool. A thousand rand. Okay. 400, Connie. Okay. Some more numbers. 500. Okay, cool. Good. Okay, so we've got some numbers going there. 450, coqueto. Okay, that's the number that went here. Correct? Right. Now let's keep going. 
take this number that you put in here, your number per hour, and I want you to put it on the first line here. So you're going to take this, if it's 500, if it's 1,000, whatever it is, put it on the first line in the next, Pilisua 700, in the next line. Okay, you got it? Okay, now I want you to multiply it by the number of hours you work in a day. This is not your T hours. And I, I want you to, to, to think back here. If you're working 10 hours a day, you're going to put 10 there. If you're working four hours a day because you work mornings only, and that's your choice, then you're going to put four hours. Okay. But I want you to put the number there of how many hours that... In fact, how many hours do you want to work in a day? Do you want to be busy earning? Okay, I've put eight there. All right, then you need your calculator. And on the next line here, I want you to put a total. All right, I want you to put a total there. Can I have a couple of totals that we've got. So I've got 2,400. Anybody else with other totals there? Just quickly type them into the chat box. I just want to get an idea of our totals. Four thousand two hundred, one thousand six hundred. 9,900, nice. 2,000, five hours at 400, 2,000. Good stuff. Six. Okay, I'm asking to see this because I just want to make sure that you're following the logic correctly. It's very important. 3,600, great. Now, we know it, we're nearly there. Take that number that you've got here, whatever your number is that you're typing into the chat box and transfer it to the first opening on the next line. Okay, and then I want you to take that number and multiply it by how many days in the month you work. Okay, so if it's 10 days, you're going to put 10. If it's 28 days, then you're going to put 28. If you work every single day, then you're going to put 30. What, however many days in the week you work, put that number there. Then I want you to multiply the two of them together until you get a total here in the bottom. And you're going to put that in the pink box. Okay. I want you then to share what number you get in the pink box. Okay, so my number says 57,600. Let me hear your numbers, or let's, let's share numbers now. 104, yaza. Okay. Nine, six, impossible, Kathy. So let's just go back and see. Let's go back, Kathy. You had said, so Kathy, you, if you had 4,000, okay, and you multiply it. Oh, there we go, Kathy. Correct, 96. That makes sense now. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Radiance, 50,000, 84,000, 35,200. Nomsa, 192,000. Joyce, 67,200. Okay. Wow. We, Koketso, 86,400. Yo. There is a fact. No, I'm not. We're not adding that. We're not doing that now. We just, just give me the number. Okay, 216,000. Is that you, Pilisua? I don't remember if it is you now. Asha, 192,000, 138,600, 118,800. Wow, we. Okay, Jenny Eel's team, give me some of your numbers. Don't worry about the VAT. Forty-four thousand. Okay, good job. 
All right, so next question that I have to ask all of you. How many of you are earning the number that you put in your pink box? How many of you earn the amount of money that you put in the pink box? So, okay, so Jenny Eel says none, not us. Not me, not me, nope. We do, not me. Okay, so this is quite interesting. So now I want you to think about something. If you want to write this down, you can. Otherwise, you can just look at what you see in the screen in front of you. Okay. I want you now to add up the total of your whys. So you know the whys that you had. So I just added up the total of the whys that I had in the example page. It was 40,000. I want you to add up. So you're going to go back to this page, this one, and these totals at the bottom, add them up. And I want you to write, you can even write it on this piece of paper at the bottom here. Your total of your whys versus the total of the value of your hour in a month. Okay? Got it? Then I want you in your own head to do this exercise. The value that you had in the pink box versus the total that you currently earn in a month, whatever it is. I've just put a number here, 17,600, 20,000, 10,000, whatever it is that you earn here. And then I want you to come up with a number here that's in the middle. Okay, can you share some of those numbers, everybody? More or less, you don't have to give the exact number. I just want to see what kind of uh, figures we're dealing with here. Okay, so while you're writing down these numbers, I want you all to understand why we have done this exercise. This piece of paper is what you think you are worth, okay? This number that you wrote on this piece of paper is what you think you are worth. Now, there is very little reason why you should not be earning that kind of money. And I know a lot of you saying, oh, but I work for a boss and, um, you know, I can only earn so much. Yes, you're right. You can only earn so much, but you work on a commission basis. So how much you earn really is to a very large degree sitting in your own hands. Okay? It does. It sits in your own hands how much you earn. And I want you to understand that what you are looking for is not such a big number. If we go back to those units, those retail units that we were looking for, okay? So we go back here. And we're looking, and you, you all wrote 25, 15, 7 and a half. So if you think to yourself for two minutes, what is the value of what you're needing and your why versus the value or the units of how many retail products are sitting on your shelf? It doesn't seem like such a big task anymore. Not at all. Okay. Now I'm going to take you through how do you get your earnings? How do you go from this number that you currently earn to what you believe your worth is. Okay, you ready? Are you all still with me? I'm just not seeing anybody, so I don't know if everybody's still there. All good? Yes, okay, Devon, perfect. All right, here we go, everyone. I've got a little 10-point plan for you. 
And let's start. You can take a picture of this or you can write them down. And if you want to elaborate on any of this, uh, we, can, we can arrange another session or something like that. But it really is very achievable. Number one is stop wishing and start doing. So if any of you in the last 10 minutes looked at that number and said, I wish I earned that amount of money. That word has to stop. Stop wishing that you earned it and start doing something about how are you going to earn it. Okay. Number two, do something. Actively do it every day. All right? And I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the reason of what you have to do to get there. Number three, start every day with a plan. Know what it is that you're doing every day. You run and manage your day and not the other way around. You have to be in control of your day. And point number four is the most important point. Your plan starts with the end goal in mind. So, if you want to earn an extra 20000 this month, right now, work back what you need to achieve every single day to get it. So let me ask you a question before we move on to the next one. How many of you take what you need to earn and work it back and say, right, to get to 20,000, I need to sell 100,000 in retail and I need to do 100,000 in services. If I'm working 20 days, this is how many customers I need per day. How many of you break down your earnings into what you have to do every day? Please, can I get an indication in the chat box? How many of you are doing that? How many of you work with the end goal in mind and plan backwards so that you have got a serious plan every day you know what you're doing. How many of you are doing that? Just say, no, we're not, or yes, we are. I'm expecting to see a lot of no's. Okay, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, right. No, we're not. We could be more. Okay, all right, so... Good. That's what I was hoping to see. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Okay. So Jenny Eels, yes, hold on a second. It's one thing having daily targets. Ladies, what I'm asking you is, do you say every month, I want to earn 20,000 Rand more and to get to 20,000 Rand more, not the target that your manager gives you, the target you give yourself to earn 20,000 Rand more, you go back and you break down how many treatments and how many services you need to do per day with a commission and the VAT. And you've got a whole plan of how much you have to do every single day. Is everybody doing that? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Brilliant. Now that is what you have to be doing. So if you're wanting, ladies from Jenny Eel said, you want to learn how to double your revenue. Well, there's your answer. If you are working towards 10,000 Rand, well, change your plan. Make your plan 20,000 Rand and work it back. And go back to, okay, to get to 20, I have to do X amount of treatments, X amount of, of retail. And then you plan your day according to every day's needs to get to your end goal, okay? Number five is very important. We've got to change our dialogue. We have to stop selling products and services to clients. We're not doing that. We're not in that business anymore. We're not in that world anymore. We are now selling experiences and feelings. That is what we are selling today. Because if you start to sell experiences and feelings, you're going to sell a hell of a lot more than if you focused on selling products and services. Offer choices. 
Allow the client to choose always, but you need to give them that variety. So let me give you an example here. If you need to do 5,000 Rand in upsells a day, but you don't have anything to upsell, well, then how do you, how does your client choose? You've got to have upsells to every single treatment, add-ons and upsells. Give the client a choice. Don't just say, oh, you can upsell hot stones to your massage. That's one thing. One thing gives you two answers, either yes or no. It's a 50-50 chance. But if you give them four massage upsells, I guarantee you one of them you'll get. Number eight is so important to everybody, especially in the teams that are listening in on this. Help your colleagues and expect nothing in return. Nothing, just help them, okay? And you're gonna see when you start doing that, how much more comes back to you. Number nine, learn every single day. Make up your mind that every day you're going to learn something new or something extra, another ingredient, another application tip, another something, okay? Number 10, do not go home till you meet your daily goals. So you know that saying that says, oh, tomorrow is another day. That's a very Spanish saying, okay? I'm totally anti that. Tomorrow is not another day to meet today's goals. Today is the day to meet today's goals. So don't stop your hunting and your chasing to you achieve what it is that you have to achieve every single day, okay? So I've got... Lots of things that we can help you with. Uh, we've got daily planners. We've got target setting uh, uh, tracking sheets that can help you and your teams to facilitate getting you, your, your earnings closer to what you value your hour and your earnings to be. Okay, right. Give me some answers in the chat box. How are you feeling after today's session? How... What impact has this had on, on anything? I just want to know, how, how do you feel about what you have to do? How do you feel about your why? Motivated, positive, good. Okay. Help me align my thoughts. Good, inspired, nice. Motivated, good. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody say, I have a plan. Okay, Alanda says determined. Okay. Who, who's eager to get planning? In fact, let me ask you this question. What, did, what is the first thing that you're going to implement tomorrow or later after today's session? What is the first thing that you want to get to getting done? Siri, clearer vision. Good. Nice. Daily planner. Good job. Nice. Okay. Daily goals. Good. Okay. Love it. Love, 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 love. Love this breaking down. Thanks, Kimmy. Okay, everybody, I'm going to send you anyway this um, Google review thing with a newsletter that comes out. I've used up all my time and I told you I'm not going to um, keep you for too long. So you'll all get a letter with the recording in case you want to do this again with your team. And I'll ask you please just to um, leave us or leave me a nice Google review about how you feel this Mawa session had an impact on your team and what it is. So everything that we do, right? We're going to go off and you're all going to share your mawas. You need to leave with a plan in place. And that's what that 10 point plan is so important about. It's going to come out in the newsletter um, tomorrow as well as a summary, the 10 point plan. So look out for it there. And then if everybody's mawas are aligned to their daily planners and to the value of your hour, everybody just starts, you'll see that it has a spin-off effect and you all start to, to um, increase your revenues and retail and so on. Okay, very quickly, just to get all, uh, to end off, I just want to quickly tell you what we're doing next week. Anybody relate to these questions on the screen in front of you? 
Do you find yourself doing things because you feel you can do it quicker and better? Do you run out of time almost every single day? Do you have a list of things you really want to do, but you don't get around to getting it done? And do you get nervous when you think about asking someone to do something for you? Do any of these resonate? And I know they do to a lot of you on this call because you've told me this privately yourselves. <laughs> Does this resonate to any of you on the call? Does anybody? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. This seems to be one of the biggest feedbacks I'm getting from all salon owners and managers at the moment. So please save the date, 25 July. That's next week, okay? I am going to do a delegate to elevate session with you because not only is the delegation going to give you time because I'm going to teach you how to delegate properly, properly, but it's going to elevate, remember our word of the year, everybody else around you. And that's what our goal is, okay? Everybody, can I take a quick picture? Can I ask you all to show your, your picture with all your beautiful faces? And while we're doing that, can I just have some feedback um, about how you enjoyed today? And I can't wait to see you all next week. Okay, you ready, everybody? Beautiful faces. I want to I want to take a pic. <laughs> Teresa with her funky haircut. I love it. Hello, Fran. Everybody there. Oh, look at all these teams. Okay, you ready, everyone? Can I get some big smiles, please? <laughs> One, two. Devon. Okay, everyone, I hope that helped you. And I hope you go off and do this with your teams. Um, and I most importantly, you need to share your my whys now with each other. Okay, that's the, the, the biggest value there. Oh. Gorgeous team there. <laughs> Stunning. Okay, everyone. Have the best evening. Love you all lots. I'll see you next week. Okay. Ciao, ciao.